here. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Erica Lucas and I am the Minimalish Minimalist. You can find me online www.ericalucas.com. How many play settings do I need? How many plates? How many cups? How many mugs? I'm here to tell you that there is no magic number that is going to <laughs> help you uh, live with less. Basically, it's less than whatever you feel is more. So if 12 feels too much, try 10. If four feels too much, try two. <laughs> we have, we carry uh, 12 play settings. I don't have a table that seats 12. Here's why we have 12. <laughs> we do the dishwasher once a day and that, that amount of plates covers us for the day. Okay, so this set of dishes came from my childhood. My mother and my father used them on fancy occasions Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, and they sat in the china cabinet the rest of the year, every year of my childhood. And they sat in a box for almost 20 years. In my basement, we moved them a bunch. In the next basement, in the next storage room, and finally when Andy and I were unpacking and get, getting rid of things, we decided to pull them into our everyday life. I just have small little serving bowls for sides, for the kids, or dips, or that kind of thing, or when we have like a uh, tray night. A couple of vases that I already use for any flowers that I get. One measuring cup. We've had this thing a long time. <laughs> and then over on this side, these are plates that are microwavable to reheat food. These play settings are not microwavable. So that's why we have these. In here? Glasses, oh, and a vase from flowers that a friend of mine recently gave me. Um, I have two vases up there. I don't need this. I think we're gonna declutter as we go. <laughs> and then in here, I have a secret candy stash, stash, and my cookbooks, some lunch bags, and some more glasses. We have our drying rack with our reusable drying mat our compost bin, my favorite, one of my favorite cookbooks, and then some bananas and paper towels. Lately we've kept nothing in our window and it's been really lovely to be able to look outside at my marigolds that have reached high in my container gardening. The dishwasher is currently running. I got stuff in the sink and I'm showing you a video, keeping it real. And then on here I just have this is an old, <laughs> some soap in here, this is, some old, this is an old radon tray that used to have planters on it and I kept the tray for our everyday soaps and things. Over here, dogs meds stuff, some mismatched mugs, a little bit of coffee remaining, some wine glasses, our medication and some tea that we keep here and a bottle of wine. I love hobnail. So we just refill this each week with a pound of coffee. We'll finish the, the upper cabinets and we'll go to the lower cabinets. So <laughs> these three, so some of you may have a junk drawer that you can relate to. Oh my gosh, that doesn't even close right now because it's so full. My husband has a triple whammy junk cabinet. I don't use it. What is preventing it from closing? Oh, citronella candle. We're just, we're gonna clean spots we find as we see them. Microfiber cloth. I just refill an amber glass bottle either with like a vinegar homemade cleaning solution or if I buy a concentrate from Target of Mrs. Myers, I'll do this with water. Okay, shall we continue? <laughs> we used to have an ant problem in our kitchen. We had it last summer and this summer, and we had a mosquito problem in the backyard. I say had because we use Sunday's pest control plan. Thank you to Sunday for sponsoring this video. I just didn't deal with the issue last summer or at the beginning of this summer because I wanted to be able to trust the products and I was nervous about putting something inside or outside that was going to be harmful to my kids or my pets. 
Sunday provides a fantastic and customizable pest control and pest prevention plan for your home and your lawn. They're affordable, effective, and easy to use. The ingredients are easy to understand. Lemongrass, canola oil, chrysanthemum, extract. I loved how easy it was to get started. I just went on the website, started a free analysis of my address, and then based on the results, they sent us the best products. So they sent us the Bug Doom, which is an indoor treatment, indoor spot treatment and an outdoor barrier treatment. And then they sent us the ant adios. We had a lot of ant hills in the front yard and the ants were just coming in the kitchen every day and just making themselves at home. And here's how I know it works. I don't have any more ants. And the mosquitoes are not biting my children every day. I mean, after four o'clock, we would actually come inside because the mosquitoes would be so bad. And now we can stay outside after four o'clock. Take your free pest analysis today and get started with $10 off your pest control plan with Sunday by clicking the link below. Underneath Andy's world, we have the dishwasher and some drawers that I organized with you back in our organization video from May. So upper drawer is our charging station. I organized that in a video and it's held up pretty well. Sometimes we just throw things in, in on this side rather than using these, like the things most commonly used, but overall, this is where we keep cords and charging stuff. This usually has a couple more things in here, three or four more things. They're probably in the dishwasher right now. The Pyrex things that Andy takes his lunch to work in. So this is all our uh, Tupperware, Pyrex, reusable food containers. These are some utensils that we don't use a, uh, a lot, like these. Okay, we're gonna add these to a declutter pile. I bought these to help me shred chicken out of the Instant Pot. These do not work any better or provide relief for my wrists any more than regular forks do. The trick that I now use is to put the, shred the chicken breasts that are cooked into the KitchenAid mixer just for a minute and it shred the KitchenAid mixer shreds the chicken for me. So we're gonna get rid of those. I do use this for cooking ground meat in the pan like Taco Tuesday. So these are a couple less often used utensils down here. And then this is the kids drawer where they keep their water bottles, kids plates, everything so they can help themselves and have a little autonomy in the kitchen. This drawer, right across from it, has the most used utensils. This is it. <laughs> These are our everyday utensils. I, I just picked up a second spatula at the grocery store after two years of only having one spatula. Well, I guess this is a spatula too, but it, we call it the pancake flipper. Anyway, these are the things we use most every day. This takes up the whole drawer. Now I had these things, these uh, organizers in there, and then uh, something in, the, in behind to hold them in the organization video for May. I ditched that because it was just unnecessary because this is all we keep in here. So that is really easy. Below that cabinet we have, this is uh, serving trays and baking sheets in the bottom of my cake stand. Moving on to the lower cabinet. This one's not my lot. So technically the kids could really get here. So anyway, the nines are here, but the kids don't come in here. So I got those here. Our crock pot, a pitcher, some mixing bowls, the mixing bowls my husband likes that I don't like, and some colanders. The kids really don't go wandering in the kitchen and they don't even know where the knives are. So that has been a non-issue. Our silverware drawer, uh, complete with stickers the kids put on here. Yay. Need some goo gone for those stickers. Anyway, here's our silverware. I also just throw our mixing cups in here. And we use a bamboo organizer. We've had that for a long time. Opposite that drawer, we have our spice drawer. These uh, spice drawer sliders are so good. They keep everything right where it is and the spices don't slide around. 
Underneath there are the pots and pans. So we have one big cooking pot, two pans, two saucepans or whatever they're called, one smaller pot, and my Dutch oven that I cook certain recipes with. That's what we have. <laughs> So this is our appliances cabinet. This needs some attention. The uh, juicer is gonna find a different home. So it's taking up prime real estate in my appliances cabinet. I have my Ninja Blender for smoothies, my can opener, my toaster, my food processor, and my rice cooker, and my coffee grinder. The thing I like in my minimalish kitchen, am I in the frame? What I like my kitchen to do for me is to, is to be easy, easy to clean, easy to function in. So I want to be able to open a cabinet, get the thing out, and close the cabinet. I don't want to have to take out three things to reach the thing that I need. That was my old version of my kitchen. And living like this for two years now, it makes it so easy to put things away, find things. I know exactly where everything is. Each thing has a home. And it's very easy to clean and keep up with, which is really important to me because I could not do that before as a mom and a wife. I didn't clean up the kitchen because there was so much stuff on the counters that I couldn't do that. So that appliance cabinet is probably <laughs> harkens back, at least for me, it harkens back to the old version of my kitchen before minimalism because I can't just reach in there and get what I want. So I need to fix that. In here, we have the old coffee maker, some cutting boards and some cookie sheets and some hot thingies that you put hot plates on, and then some Pyrex, larger Pyrex. And we kept this, but I'm thinking about getting rid of it because we just use filtered water from the fridge. So, I don't know. For now, I'm just living with it. Probably something I'll end up getting rid of. What's funny is we just, through August, had all of the grandparents and some aunts and cousins here. It was crazy busy. And Andy had saved, wanted to save that for when we had company and we didn't use it. So I think that probably proves that I'm ready to donate it. And now that I'm talking about it, I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, should we do under the sink? Under the sink. This is the magnet box because we have cleaning supplies under here. Uh, our drops, dishwasher pod container, and my next set ready to go in. Some trash bags, some cleaning supplies, vinegar, some dog shampoo. And I definitely still use this. Most of my microfiber cloths are upstairs in the laundry. So I keep these. I don't keep anything up there because I can't reach it. So up here I have more cleaning supplies. My cleaning caddy's in the bathroom because I was cleaning today. Yep, that's that. And then our pantry. This is our main pantry that I cook from each week. And then I have a larger closet where I store some extra things when I stock up on sales. I'll show you that. That's my extra. That's just off the kitchen. Here's a table. We usually have three chairs here. The kids eat their breakfast here and they're covered in a blue cover, which is also in the laundry. So today was a cleaning day for me, obviously. So <laughs> uh, the, the covers are in the wash right now and the extra chair is at my husband's desk in the other room. Uh, I haven't done the floors yet though. Goldfish, anyone? You could survive an apocalypse off the goldfish in my car or on the floor of my kitchen. Okay, so we found a couple of things to donate, which is pretty exciting along the way. Every now and then, I realize I just don't use stuff anymore. And I, and I recognize it, I acknowledge it, and I remove it from my life. All these little mini declutters, they add up over time. So that's a deep look into my kitchen. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tour. Would love for you to subscribe and join our family here on YouTube. And here's another video.